after viewing this video, you will be able to create quiz questions in a question library using D2L. To begin, we'll start from our course demo homepage, and from the top ribbon bar, we will select assessment, and then quizzes and exams. From here, we will select question library, and the, we're going to select the blue tab new. And we're going to go to a true and false question. We'll start with a true and false question first. You can see I've typed in Canvas as a learning management system. The correct answer is true. We will make that worth one point. And then our selection is save and new or save and copy. So we want save and new. We're not going to do another true and false question. Our next question will be a matching question. So we gave our matching question a name. We're just going to call it matching. It's worth one point, and our level of difficulty is one. I typed in the question text. Identify the description with the correct component of the community of inquiry. Now, we could insert an image if we wanted to, but we're not going to. And we are going to look at grading. They're equally weighted, all or nothing, or right minus wrong. We're going to go with all or nothing. The students need to get all of these correct. As we populate our responses, we, will, we have social and cognitive as our choices, and the matches would be soul, and the, that is the correct answer for social, and heart, that is the correct answer for cognitive. So we can preview this, and you will see what this is going to look like, heart, social, cognitive, soul, and then you would select the correct response. So we will select done. I'm now going to select Save and New so we can continue. Our next question will be a short answer question. And the text for our short answer question is list the three components of the community of inquiry. And you can see that the answer response can be text, case sensitive, or regular expression. We're just going to leave it as text and select Save. So we've provided the responses, social, cognitive, and teaching. We are going to leave it to one point, and we're going to select Save. We will now do a multiple choice question. We will go up to our new. We will select multiple choice. I'm going to write in the question text and then populate the answers. So I've typed in the question, UBD stands for which of the following, understanding by design, universal by de design, understanding by developing, or universal by developing. The correct answer is understanding by design, so we've selected that, and we can randomize the answer order, and this is going to be worth one point, so we're going to go ahead and save. So you can see the four questions that we have so far. The last type of question that I'm going to demonstrate is a longer answer question. So we start with the new button and we are going to select the written response question. Here we're going to write the question text. So my question is discuss, discuss the roles of triggering exploration, integration, and resolution as related to the community of inquiry. We're going to allow the HTML, HTML editor for learner responses, and we're going to allow the respondent to insert images and attachments, and we're going to probably make this worth three points. So you can see over here on the right-hand side, this is where they'll provide the response. We will select Save, and these are the questions that we've added to the library. So this is how you add questions in the question library in D2L.